So I forgot to hit record here. <laughs> so far, oh, I put half the burger in. Where did I put the burger? I must have put it back away. Right there's the burger, seven eggs. You put turmeric, parsley, chia seeds, garlic, wheat germ. And then I got, now this is from a place that grows all their own food, makes all their own beef. Um, it's um, an Amish owned store family. Now they're pretty big, I mean. But I put all the eggs. I put seven eggs in mine, eggshells and all. Oh, here's the big thing of burger. Right here. Half of this is in there. A little more than half I put in today. So, I'm going to, oh, olive oil. I'm going to olive oil in it. You can use olive oil or coconut. They're both good. This week I'm using olive oil, whichever I have the most of. And I just put a little bit in there. I'm not sure what the recipe calls for. And then I use black strap molasses. So I'll get that mixed up here. Oh, I'm going to mush all this in here. And get it mixed in really good. I started, I didn't hit record when I started doing it. That's why I have another video where I do it. One I deleted by accident. But this is very good for your dogs. It's all natural food. It's all longevity is the most important thing and real nutrition. This is something that has almost everything in it. Even calcium with the eggshell. For dog food. Now I do add dog food yet. So I mix this all together. Um, the recipe calls for gelatin. I don't have any. So I'm not putting that in. And then when I do feed them... I also add organic yogurt daily to their food. They get their like fresh meals and fresh food in the morning. And then I always give them sweet potatoes for a snack, for their snacky in the afternoon. And I bake them lightly ahead of time. They absolutely love sweet potatoes. Today I'm going to stuff some bones. I'll show you that in a couple minutes. Because I am I have to work today. So I'm going to get the bones stuffed for them a treat for in their crate when I go to work. Of course Isaac's going to go along to work. But anyhow, I do this. I mix this all in good. I wish I had gloves. Not a gloves again because I use them to pick up dog poo. I put rubber gloves on and go out in the bucket and just pick it up. I get the dog poo up. <clears throat> no messing around with the scooper scooper or anything. Five gallon bucket and gloves. Makes it easier. So we're talking pooing this <laughs> together. Um, now the recipe, they freeze this. I take little tiny balls. They're called sack balls. But I make mine into like a dog food. Like, so they get like one can each of what would be a can of dog food every day of this in their morning feed with yogurt. I put this in. Oh, 
That's me make a mess. I add lots of water because now I don't have filtered water. I got it someday. Hopefully I can buy myself a something to filter my water. I drink the water too, so our water comes from off the mountain here in town anyhow. But I add lots of water because I worry about bloat. So I let the oatmeal absorb to absorb it first. I don't think the recipe calls for water either, but I add water. Moisture rich food is good for the dogs. Dry kibble is like just kibble alone is like giving your dog cereal without milk every single day of their life. Which mine have to get kibble till I have more money to buy more raw. And now I do get organ meat from the butcher. They get liver. I have that in another video. I called him the other day. He was didn't butcher so lately, so he didn't have any any liver. I mean, I can go get chicken livers and stuff. Any store for me is an hour worth of driving. But anyhow, you get the point. And then I'll show you how to stuff the bones in a little bit. So, here's the finish. There's bone broth and also chicken in here. And yogurt. Now I put about a tablespoon of yogurt and then I use these digestive enzymes. They're working for me so and I put that on also and they're just having a fit because I'm making them wait here. So that's what every morning looks like here unless I do a different uh, food. All winter long I seem to do the satin balls as dog food with dog food now this is farmers market dog food this week because i didn't make it to the feed mill to get it i feel as long as the dog food is brown and does not have um coloring in it like colored dog food with fake looking peas and stuff just get real peas if you're going to give them peas and then here's our sweet potato they'll get later i'll cut that up later and i'll do bones for you next Okay, I had to go gather up. My dogs take their bones outside, inside. So, here's a big leg bone. Oh, that was very bad, Elisa, there. I'm using some fermented apple, also, to put in the end of it. You know, you can put fruit and veggies or whatever you want. A lot of people use a Kong. I use the bones. Especially my dogs take stuff and but anyhow I put that in. We still have a little bit of tender going on. But I'm gonna now some aren't as big. I just gathered around what I could find. I'm sure I could find about twenty more out of the yard. But that's how I do it, like that. A lot of times I top it with yogurt, but they just had yogurt. But I just fill it up. You could get your leg bones cut at your even your grocery store. You could get them. Hey, Liesl, leave it at the grocery store. Your butcher can cut them down to whatever size. I like half leg bones. Tippy, Tippy's very good at getting the big ones cleaned out very, rather quickly. She's good at it. But this just gives them something to keep them occupied when I go to work. I'm sure it doesn't last too long. But it gives them the incentive, too, to go in 
to their crate because when I have these in the freezer, they go in their crate wanting me to go to work. I really like the satin bowls. Mine are the recipe. Mine have the recipe what's on the recipes for the satin balls, but I add all the spices in and herbs for their health. But I add a... Uh, more into their food too. Like I said, the probiotics, the prebiotics. Uh, these are pre... I believe... Uh, I know they get probiotics out of fermented food. I'm not... I think apples are more of a prebiotic, but I have to look to make sure. But the probiotics eat the prebiotics. The gut health is most important. The gut, your dog's digestive system, just like ours, is the most important thing. Because your immune system is your gut, your intestines and everything. So you want to, you want to feed the good bacteria in there. Dogs naturally have salmonella in them because people worry about giving raw food. They have that natural, as a natural gut flora. There's a lot of books on raw feeding. Like I don't do totally raw, but someday I will do totally raw when I have access to a bigger freezer to get everything I need. But for now, I don't have enough room even to store it all. But anyhow, this is what they'll get. They think they're going to get it now, but it's going in the freezer. Last couple days, I do. I They make their own peanut butter at that store I go to. And I've been, until I got this made today, I was too sick yesterday to make it. So they just got hamburg and I dumped everything in. I didn't, because I, I wanted to do a video on this. But I'll take this and I'll stick this in the freezer and they'll get this treat then when I go to work. So they won't get their sweet potato then. They'll get this instead for their afternoon. Now that's meal I showed is their morning meal. Um, I split my dogs up to feeding twice a day in an afternoon snack. And then they do have a fast. I do fast my dogs and when I fast them. I give them bone broth and, uh, I can't, milk thistle to clean their liver and everything. But anyhow, so there they are all done. I'm going to stick the dog dish and all in my freezer. And then they'll have themselves some stuffed bones when I go to work. And they look forward to it. Please like and subscribe.